Hey, I'm on the edge of my seat here, back in with another brand new video. So here I'll be no damaging all the boss fights in Streets of Kamurocho, which is a free promotional game because uh, yeah, it's the 60th anniversary of Sega. And I gotta say, it's a bit disappointing because, you know, I thought the Kiwami games copied a lot of assets from some of their previous titles. But here is Streets of Kamurocho just copying all of Streets of Rage 2. What is up with that? Man, like, I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, there is a big difference, you know. The Kiwami games are like full games and this is a thing which they released to celebrate their anniversary and also they're completely admitting that they are kind of copying the series, just kind of more as a homage to those games, given that you have to beat them up and all that. And also I haven't played Streets of Rage 2, uh, don't, don't, you know, don't haunt me or anything like that, but yeah. So, you know, uh, from what I played here, pretty fun, though I gotta say the fights I did fight here were pretty tough. Like, I suffered a lot with Lao Kao Long there, and pretty much I was just trying out a ton of different strategies. I was trying to do the drop kick with Lao Kao Long, didn't work out, until I realized I could just do the little infinite punch, and that pretty much can destroy these first two boss fights. However, with Lao Kao Long, there is a big difficulty where the infinite punch you have like two other enemies to deal with so you need to take care of, you need to take care of both of those guys and you need to make sure that Lao Long doesn't attack you and he has some pretty long range attacks he can sometimes throw a knife at you so if he gets in the same plane as you well you know it's just bad luck and all but I was able to do it at some point and with Shindo he's actually the easiest one to do the infinite punch with with so I went with one of my other attempts which wasn't the infinite punch just for a little more variety in the video and then here we reach Nishiki which has a couple more attributes to make him a little different from the previous two. I'm not sure if you can infinite punch him, but I didn't try it because, well, his punch actually reaches farther than yours. So if you try to get up close to him, he might just punch you before you can punch him. And also, he can just grab you whenever he wants. So the way grabs work in like this game is that you pretty much just, like walk towards the enemy. Like if I don't know, if you like walk like up to them, you can grab them and then do throws from there. Or if you just walk in front of them, you can do throws from there. But it seems like Nishiki can do that to you, and well, it just seems very rare that you can actually grab them. So what I'm trying to do here is a bit of spacing where I do this cool little uppercut move, which the way I did it was I just double tapped on the con like forward and then pressed the punch button. That's how I did it. And pretty much the way that works, it just kind of, you know, gives me spacing, you know. It, it gives me, like, a couple iframes while I'm moving forward with the punch, and then just kind of knocks him over. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's also these, like, really cool moves you do, but they, like, destroy your health bar, and for no damage, I can't deal any damage to my health. So, you know, there's that. So, there really isn't much to this game, so I will say this is only round one. You could theoretically, you could theoretically keep going and going for rounds and rounds and rounds, and it just gets, like mechanically harder and harder like they just add more enemies and all that but yeah that's pretty much about it just a short little video just to kind of you know fun little project and uh, i'm gonna try to no damage yakuza 7 in the future don't know if it's actually possible but before then i'm gonna try to no damage gaia in korea one i have to do hostess missions in that and it's uh, really lame uh, i guess i'll see you then